This is part two of the Pennsylvania Big Woods Flintlock Hunt. Join Travis and I as we push deeper into the Allegheny National Forest. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And God bless. change of plans. Um, Travis and I went in this morning and thought we would get ready to hunt a new, newer piece. Um, well, did a little bit of driving and uh, think we may have found a better place. So I've never been in here before. Um, gonna walk in. Uh, Find a good spot. There's a lot of trails coming out of this block of woods. A little fall. But, uh, going, to, going to some standing corn. I'm just going to get back up in here and see what happens. See you guys when I get set up. seem like it in the cameras. <clears throat> I could barely see my front sight. No. <laughs> One of the drawbacks of using a flint lock is it's real hard to see the front sight. I probably should have painted it white. That's that would have helped, but Seen a bunch of turkeys today. Just counted seven toms. I had uh, three does come in as soon as I got set up. I believe they winded me. So just as I was getting ready to get a shot. I don't even know if I got it on video. Um, they didn't blow, but they just stopped, turned and walked away. So I think they kind of figured something was up. They must have caught my crosswind or something. see what tomorrow is going to be like we're supposed to get some rain so so that that day closed out the birds that i had seen earlier went to the top actually roosted right above me i went back to camp and did some relaxing got ready for the next morning this sunday 31st new year's eve um, we figured it was going to be raining by now but uh, it's not, so we're going out. I'm taking the ground blind in. I'm not going to go very far from that truck. Um, it's going to be the going in the other side, the other mountain, hillside, whatever you want to call it, from where we were sitting yesterday evening. Wind will be better for us in this spot. Um, 
Got like a southeast wind, a big rain front is coming through, so we'll sit in the ground blind, try to stay dry, see what we see, uh, see what the Lord brings, and uh, check in whenever we uh, get all set up. You can probably hear it's raining. Oh, my ticket. I got in here just in time, just before it started, so I'm only going to hunt about 10.30 this morning, Travis and I. We're going to meet back at the truck and kind of figure out what we want to do. Um, I feel pretty good about this spot. Um, I jumped three deer on my way in. Um, actually, it just started to sprinkle a little bit on my way down in here, and I kicked it up a gear, started walking a little bit faster. Um, anybody that's using a flintlock knows you can't get these things wet. Um, so I was in a hurry to get down here and get the blind set up, and, and uh, as a result, I wasn't looking where I was walking, and I seen the one deer jump up and run off, um, and I was watching it, and had I paid better attention, there was two more that were just standing there. I probably could have shot the one at 45 yards away, and I didn't see it, so I blew it. Um, but, you know, that is the way that it goes, so... I've been sitting here in this rain and it's been an off and on rain. I haven't seen anything. I did a little bit of reading. Um, kind of debating on packing things up now. It's 10 o'clock. I've really only been here for about an hour and a half. Um, I was telling Travis earlier this morning that uh, <laughs> I was a deer. I probably wouldn't be moving too much in this rain. You know, we're, we're warming up. I think we're going to be in the 60s today. I mean, it's a ridiculous temperature for December 31st. But, uh, you know, we can't, we can't change the weather. I mean, I mean, and I could be wrong. The deer might, might get up and start moving here a little bit, but... I'm kind of wondering whether I ought to pack things up while it's not raining as bad. We got an 11 o'clock back at the truck plan. It's 10 o'clock right now and it's kind of slowing up. And yeah, I'm kind of debating. I, I don't know. We'll see, but I, there's a good chance I might, if I can hear it slow up just a little bit more, I might pack things up and head to the truck. <laughs> so something just come to mind. In my early days, cousin John and I used to do a lot of goose hunting together. And uh, he'd always give me a hard time because I wouldn't wait. And the geese locked, it, locked up and started in. When they were in range, I started laying them down. <laughs> Sometimes. You know, eventually he got, he got, you know, he got with what, what I was doing, but it became a running joke. He who hesitates is lost. I think the longer I sit here waiting for this rain to slow up, the better the chances are that I'm going to be lost. It's going to pour. So with that, I'm packing up. <laughs> So uh, we're back at the truck. Uh, took me about a half hour to get out. Um, not too bad. I was thinking that, you know, this morning originally I wanted to be within a hundred yards of the truck with the rain that we're supposed to be getting. I didn't want to have all the gear too far back in there and then it turned sour and uh, have to carry all that gear out for a mile or two. So probably 
probably made the right call. Uh, I went, like I said, I went a little further in this morning than I was gonna half hour walk out. It's not too bad. Seen some deer whenever we got in there um, before I could get set up. Um, but uh, you know, it's raining now. Uh, original game plan was to wait another half hour once I while I was in there. You know, like at 10:30 I was gonna come out, and it's 10:30 now, and it's raining. So I think made the right call um john he who hesitates is lost good call waiting on travis all right so it's only been about a minute since the last time i recorded and it's raining a lot harder now i'm sure travis will be happy to know that the truck's unlocked Looks like he's coming in right now. Looks like a wet dog. Look at this! He wore the ground part out of the woods! Hey! <laughs> Alright. I'm going back in the truck. Give me the, here, give me the gun. That's funny. That thing's just the right height to walk in. <laughs> I was just sitting here. I was just sitting here video, and I'm like, Travis is gonna be happy that I got the truck unlocked. And I looked in the mirror or in the in the screen, and I'm like, oh, here he comes now. And I couldn't see what was going on. And I thought, you know what? I'll go out and give him a hand. It's raining. And then you got the ground blind on. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, where to? Ah. Uh. I don't know. This is a good spot. We'll just Wherever sit here. Where we drive. <laughs> Every time I go out, whether it's successful with the harvest of an animal or successful with a quiet, relaxing time in, in the outdoors, I'm reminded that God loves us, that he's created all this for us, that he wants a relationship with us. The next time you're out, Take some time and notice the little things. Thank God for the blessings that we have, for the love that he's given us, and the salvation that we have through his son, Jesus Christ.